Hello guys and girls, welcome back. Um, it is now the 1st of January 2018. That is crazy. Um, Happy New Year to you all. Hope you all had a great Christmas. Uh, it's also been my birthday in the meantime, so I've been pretty busy. Um, unfortunately not in the van so much. Uh, that's why this video has taken so long to come out. Um, but yeah, we've, uh, we've got some ceiling panels up. And uh, I'll just roll the film, you can watch it, enjoy. <laughs> Uh, guys and gals, it's uh, Saturday the 25th of November, uh, it's technically freezing outside today at zero degrees Celsius, um, but today we're going to try framing out the uh, shower area and the shower unit and where the water tank is going to go at the back of the van. Uh, so let's see how we get on. Num, 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 num. Ladies and gents, we have the tank frame, um, which is going to be the back part of the shower. Um, if I just lay this on the floor, actually, give you an idea of how big the shower is. It's about there. You won't see that blue line on the floor there. Or maybe you can, I don't know, but this makes it easier. So let's step right back here. So that's uh, how far the shower comes towards the front, this way. and. This is sort of how much space there is when you're in here, up to obviously the edge of this, across, and I'll just show you the tank. There's a big old water tank, and that's made there so you can still take that out. Kind of awkward with one hand, but there you go. That just sits in there nice and snug, and uh, this sort of becomes part of a shelf sort of squatting seating bit when you're having a shower or at least half of it does and as you can see the sort of van sort of tapers in a bit at the top there so you're probably only going to get about half of that and the other half can be storage for other little bits and bobs tools or whatever so yeah it's uh, it's about 12.45 or something so yeah I'm just going to screw down that top plate and then go in and have some lunch Okay, well, someone was so content with their sausage bacon sandwich for lunch that they uh, fell asleep. And it's now about four o'clock-ish. Um, so let's see if we can get the rest of this uh, shower in and feed. Alright, so we've been out here for another about three hours now, it's about seven o'clock. Uh, as you can see, the that's where the light switches are going to go, um, for up over there and in the shower. So that's both the light switch wires. Yeah, I think I'm just going to finish off, finish off in the back corner, right over there, down there somewhere. And uh, get that bit of frame in and then call it a night because I'm starting to get hungry. Again. Alright, so we've got that far corner uh, sort of part of the frame in now. Um, I'm just going to show you the bits I've got left to do. I'm packing up now, it's 20 past 8 at night. I've been out here for just over 9 hours. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we're going to stick in a cross bit across here because uh, that one's still a bit flimsy. Other than that, it's pretty solid. Uh, and one down the middle. We'll stick one down sort of staggered here, here, and down the bottom in the middle. And I need one across here, across here, 
and something across here as well. So that's all tomorrow's work. All right, Monday, 27th of November. Um, I was ill yesterday, so didn't get a chance to get out here and finish what I was gonna do on here. Um, I'm leaning up against this just to show off how strong it is. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty well in there, but we're gonna put some more cross braces in just so we got something to attach the ply to. And uh, yeah, it's today's job probably, get that done. So I'm gonna crack on. Okay, so now it's about 10 to eight in the evening. Um, should we have a look, see how far we've got? Yeah, I think we should. Right, I've got a couple of the short strips up. But now it's time to deal with the longer stuff. The ones that's going to run almost all the way along here. Or at least as far as it can along there. And on the other side. And that is why I needed the other workbench, so I can work on this. So, off we go. Okay, well some of it's come out alright. Some of it's come out not so great. It's a bit saggy there. Um, I'm not sure what I can do about that. And uh, this end is even worse. And then this is quite a big gap between this beam and this one. And we've got this huge gap here now that I can always get my fingers into. That's how much it hangs down. So, hmm, not too pleased with it, but I might just have to see how it goes. Well, we've worked late into the night. Well, late into the evening. It's not really late into the night. But, we have the strips done on the ceiling. All the way down to the front of the van. So, there you go. We're all ready, as far as I can tell. Um, to start putting some ceiling panels up. Tuesday December 5th, um, we didn't get the ceiling done at all at the weekend, uh, reason being uh, I didn't want to use a jigsaw to cut the uh, ceiling panels, um, what I did want to use was this bad boy, um, which I haven't yet, and we're going to fix this up and I'm going to tell you why I bought this one as well. Okay, so this of course is my circular saw, and as you can see, if I open the back guard back here, you can see the teeth on that are pretty, pretty big. Now this is the blade that came with it, um, and as I found out, usually when you buy these, they come with um, these large tooth blades for cutting construction material. Um, so they're made for cutting really quickly through large pieces of thick wood, um, which is not what we're using. This is the kind of stuff that we're, this is an off cut for what we're gonna be using. This is five mil ply. Um, and teeth that size, I mean, let's do a little comparison there, look. They're just going to absolutely destroy this kind of wood. Or at least I think they're going to. So, I bought this one, which has much finer teeth. And should do a much better job of cutting through it, a much neater job. My apologies guys and girls. Um, something I completely forgot to mention, when cutting with a circular saw on any kind of finishing wood or any kind of panel uh, like this, um, the face you want on show has, wants to be face down. Okay, so as you can see, this would be the underside or the back of uh, whatever it is you're gonna you're gonna put. Maybe a countertop. Uh, in this case, ceiling and walls. Um, and as you can see, these are really rough. But if we flip it over on the other side, they're pretty smooth. So yeah, whenever you're using a circular saw, whatever face you want showing, face down. Okay, so I've been taking some measurements in the van and it turns out that I don't have enough plywood to do the whole ceiling. And what I don't want to do is use two different batches of plywood and uh, have a kind of patchy, different coloured looking ceiling because it's going to look awful. 
So I'm going to try and work out plan B. Time for some maths. Two hundred mil. So it's one thousand three hundred sixty. Six ten. Oh, I did it seven by six ten. I'm losing my freaking mind. So seven times six hundred ten mil. One three ninety, not one three sixty. That's enough to do the whole roof. That's good news. Okay, oh. have a plan B. I've got seven MDF boards, these MDF boards, uh, which are long enough to fit whipways across the van, and enough of them for it to fit all the way down the top of the van as well. So instead of ply and uh, using oil, we're going to put these MDF boards up instead and probably give them some sort of creamy coloured paint uh, to try and keep it in with that sort of old school railway carriage kind of styling. So, yeah, plan B, let's do it. So it turns out the old circular saw cuts MDF pretty damn nice. Okay guys, so I've had a little idea here. Instead of cutting these one at a time and setting this up, fence up and everything every time, Look, we just stack all these boards one on top of another, take a great big circle saw and cut the whole lot of them the right length, all in one go. Let's see what happens. Alright, there goes nothing. Looks good to me. Okay, so we've got a slight problem relating to our air vent and ceiling bolts. Get out of the cable, and I'll just show you what I mean. Now, I need for one of these bolts to be right in the centre, or sorry, for that vent to be right in the centre of one of these bolts. Because if I have it off to one side, and then I have another one here, and they don't line up, it's going to look shoddy. I don't like shoddy, so... I've got to try and measure that in a way that it's going to be exactly in the middle of that board. Now, I can't do that until I've framed out the wood that's going to go around there. And I don't have that yet, so I'm going to have to get that tomorrow on the way back from work and get on with it. And then I can measure out exactly how far from here to the frame and cut the hole in the board. Once I've got this one up, I can just put the other ones in, front and back. Easy peasy. But yeah, until tomorrow, I can't do that unfortunately. Put. On frame for the vent. Right, so here's the plan. I want this to go in here like this. Okay, and we're going to need the glue, we're gonna, sorry, we're going to need it to be held there while the glue sets. So, I haven't put the glue on it yet, but I'm just showing you. If I put this across here, and screw it firmly into those two beams there, that should put enough pressure on it to hold it in place until the glue's done. Here we go. That's the front here? No? That's the front, that's the front. Let's get this in. Okay, pull this bit around. Pull it onto this side so it doesn't ping out. Fantastic, so let's get that glue cleaned up and uh, leave it overnight to set, I suppose.
well finally we've got the ceiling boards up um, they need a bit of paint on them and they need some uh, just bits of strip wood just to help tidy them up around the edges and uh, where the sort of seams are and that um, but other than that it's all good it's all done so here we have it MDF boards all the way up we've got our little holes cut for the ooh, excuse me lights to go in and uh, like I said, they need a little bit of tidying up. We're going to put some strip wood here uh, to glue these together, close these seals up. It's all going to get painted a nice cream colour. Oh, keep it in focus, there we go. Um, and we're going to tidy up around here with some, some strip wood as well, just to clear up these edges along here because it's sort of not, it's not level. But once it's all tidied up, that'll look good. So next job, probably, I should think, paint these first. Um, that way any drips coming down, they're only going to get on the foil and that, which doesn't matter. And then I can put the walls up. So, yeah, there we go. Let's try and get a view from the other end as well. Going down towards the back. There you go. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you very much again for watching and subscribing. Talking of subscribing, we've now hit just over 2,000 subscribers. Thank you all very much. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, it's a nice little uh, little treat over Christmas to uh, see that. So thank you very much. Um, as always, if you're enjoying these videos, keep commenting, keep liking, keep subscribing. Um, I know there's a few comments I still haven't replied to yet. I will do it. It's just I've been so busy. I do apologise. Um, what's next? What's next? Getting the ceiling painted, probably getting the walls up. That's probably what's coming up in the next video. Anyway, I'll let you get on because I'm sure you're busy. Uh, take care and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!